Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is a speaker and author of several books on relationships. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Who are you? Who are you? You know what? That's the question that every single person has to ask themselves. Who are they? Right? Because one of the problems that we have in society is the overwhelming majority of people don't know who they are. And I'm not even talking to one some deep esoteric, you know, what you, who, what, who you are in the supreme being type of know who you are, but just know who you are just on a basic Every day, you know, this is who I am. This is what I do and everything. Most people don't. Some people think they, think they do. And I'm going to tell you why a lot of people don't know who they are. From the time that we are born, somebody else is defining us. I mean, let's be real. Even someone giving us a name is defining us. Right? Even someone giving us a name is defining us. So we start then. And, you know, we're, we're acculturated a certain way. You know, we're indoctrinated into a religious path, a spiritual path, no path. And then, you know, then we go outside. Then all of a sudden it's like, oh, yeah, that's this person or that. You know, the streets give you your name some, in some places. All right. And then you got teachers who do that. Like you got a lot of teachers. They define, they define a person's whole life by just saying the child is dumb. All right. They define the whole thing. And then people, like, they'll just say, I'm this or that. Or, you know, people will put themselves down. And then you sitting back like, yeah, this is who I am. But if you think about it, no, someone else said that. Someone else uh, said that about you. Right? I mean, how many, um, I mean, there's been several um, motivational speakers. They'll say, you know, I was said I was this when I was young or I was that when I was young. Or I couldn't do this. You always see stories like that. Some guidance counselor or something. Or even as they get older. Oh, you, you'll be suited for this or something. I'm like, screw that. You know? Because I'm going to tell you what. And it's something with me. And I haven't always been perfect with it. But I always had a sense of who I was and what I was going to do. Right? Because all my life I've had somebody tell me what I couldn't do or what I was. Starting in kindergarten. My kindergarten teacher thought I'd be a, be an issue because <laughs> they were I was like real quiet, real reticent. I was that type of kid, real quiet, didn't say anything unless I needed to say something. Nothing was wrong with me. All right. But then I got to the first grade. The first grade teacher just let me be me. And she was she she was like Phew. she even said it to me. I'll never forget it. She was like one of those old school teachers that just knew how to bring out stuff in kids. She just she ain't, she ain't listening to the kindergarten teacher. Right. She just kind of just let me do me. And then she was like, oh, this kid real smart. Right? That's because I already knew anyway. In fact, you get some kids. I'm going to tell you what. You get some people who come into this world knowing who they are. Like these little real stubborn kids. A lot of times you see them in class. The kid that don't want to pay attention. Real stubborn. And, you know, we try to put them on drugs or anything. That's because they came into this world knowing who they are. And they fight, they'll fight against it. They, they, you ever see those kids, they just contrary to everything? They already know. But see, in this society, it's all about conforming. It's about control. Like I said, from the moment you're born, you know, you have three great shaping forces in society that try to shape your character. Religion. The education system. And then also uh, the media. I mean, the media, if you really think about it, the media, one of the primary things with the media is propaganda to shape how you're supposed to behave, how you're supposed to respond. Is if you really look at a lot of people's behavior, it's because they've seen it on TV or seen it in a movie. And they think, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. This is what I'm supposed to wear. And that gets deep. But then, you know, the primary thing is still your family. they trying to shape you. Now, you get some, you get some families where the parents, you know, they, they kind of, you know, they allow the child to do stuff until... You know, unless it's become a situation where it's dangerous to the child, which is necessary. Children are naturally sociopathic. They'll do stuff, right? They'll just, like, kind of let them do their thing. I was kind of like that. My mother, 
my mother gave new meaning to the word permissive, right? Except if I, I took it too far, she 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 would wield a belt to to her hand just like a Jedi, she just hold a hand up. Yeah, this was before Star Wars even came out. I was like, when I saw that in Star Wars, I was like, oh man, my mother can do, mother and grandma can do that, right? It was like, but for the most part, they just let me be me, right? And you you get that all your life. You get somebody try to define you, try to say this. That's why now, you know, I've had some detractors and they've tried to come at me and say, oh, you're this, you're that. And I just kind of laugh them off if, you know, either just ignore them or laugh them off. And it's like I told a woman trying to come at me one time, right? Trying to say, oh, you're this and that. And I said, no, I'm none of those things. Your problem is you have no idea what I am because I know and I'm comfortable with it. And you look, you get people that look like, it's nothing because one thing people will try to define you according to what they're comfortable with or to try to exercise comes control. But if you look at them and just say, boom, no. Nah. Going through life, you have to know who you are, what you're trying to do, what you're about. You got to know who you are deep to your core. Right. One of the ways to do that is think, OK, what do you really want? What brings you joy in life, right? What stuff do you just naturally stand for that's intrinsic to you and not because somebody else said it? I'll use the example of racism. A lot of racism is taught. A lot of it is taught. That's why if you see, if you put children of, like babies of a different race together, they ain't even tripping over it. In fact, you, gotta, you actually have to tell them that there's a difference. You actually have to tell babies there's a difference. You know, and like I seen one of this one cute story, this, uh, this white kid was real good friends with this black kid and the black kid had to like shave his head. I think the black kid had cancer or something like that. And the white kid said, look, I want to shave my head, too, so I can look just like him. I mean, it was sweet. Now, if he learned to be racist or even a black kid, one of them, they were taught that. Somebody else defined that. Right. That wasn't in their character, so they had to be taught that. So going through life, you got to ask yourself, what's inherent to you? You know, what what is inherent? Is this job inherent to you? Now, I've tried. Man, I ain't going to lie. Like I said, I haven't been perfect with it. People will say, hey, you should do this. You should do that. And I've noticed one thing. <laughs> I say, whatever I did it, I would fail miserably because it wasn't me. I get people now who try to say, hey, uh, you want to get into this? So I'm like, no, nah, that's not I'm not interested. That's not me. All right. Because I know who I am. And I was like, I know who I am. I know what I want to do. You know? And that's the important thing. Like, everybody, I mean, seriously, if you really get down to it, when I hear people talk or put themselves down, right? That's an important thing. When I hear people talk, I, that's not them. I'm hearing what other people done told them. And they accepted it. All right? They accepted it. All right? And it's like, no, nah, no. Nah. Nobody else defines you. No one else defines you. Because once you get to the point that your self-definition comes from yourself, this is what I am, boom. Now, you know, and that, that goes for everything, even calling you attractive. Like if someone says, oh, Rom, you handsome. Yeah, thank you. Oh, Rom, you ugly. Thank you. Because either one, I'm like, I'm good with how I look. So, you know. So it's not, even even on some good level, I don't allow other people to define me because I know who I am. And that's every everybody got to get to that point. Everybody, every single person got to get to that point. Because one is a powerful thing. Like I said, I've had some detractors, they try to come at me and they can't figure out why they can't phase me. I've had people like seriously, I've had men and women look sad and they'll say something and they be laughing. Uh, yeah, you this, you that. And I'm just like, I just look at them. I'm like, all right. I mean, that helps you to sleep at night to believe that. But, uh, you know, that ain't me. And they, they, I give a look. It fucks with them. They, I've had some people go crazy over it, literally. I've been messing people's heads up because they were like, damn, he ain't letting me define him. Because I was like, I don't need you. I know who I am. I look in the mirror and I'm good with myself. I pop my collar. <laughs> but that's the bottom line, y'all. Know who you are. Focus on who you are. 
Sit back. It takes a while. Strip away all the stuff that somebody else defined for you. Even if it, even if it's your job or something. You know? Even if it's your job. Somebody else might have defined that. And that's you. You got to define who you are and what you want to do and just stick with it. And anybody who want to run with you, hey, you know they running with your true self. You know, y'all know a theme I always talk about is take off that mask. Part of the thing is people put try to put a mask on us. I don't let you put a mask on me. You know, and it's like, hey, this is what this is me. So anyway, know who you are. Look in the mirror, ask yourself, who are you? So that's it for today. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and many blessings.